Hi, I'm Ayushma and I'm back with the RD report. We are still sticking with the Rio Olympics simply because answers are still coming back on the performance of the Indian team. Today, we bring you some answers from track and field. Praveen Jolly, the bronze medal winner of the 110 meter hurdles at the 1982 Asian Games, tries and answers a few. Duti Chand had tweeted a picture of herself sitting in economy and flying to Rio. In a way, she said it contributed to her below par performance. And then later she said her race was late at night, which was a sleeping time, so she couldn't do her best. Well, Praveen Jolly thinks these are all excuses. This, 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 this cannot be accepted because I don't think even the Olympic medals uh, winners, even they, they travel first class. Well, everybody, every country has limitation with regard to the funding and I don't think athletes are travelling first class uh, in except certain exceptional cases. So everyone travels by the economy and the performance uh, uh, given by an athlete cannot be attributed to travelling in uh, economy class. These, these are all uh, excuses and uh, actually speaking the federation and the athlete gets to know his uh, competitive timing well maybe four to six months in advance and the coaches and athlete must ensure that they compete and train at those timings so as uh, to uh, not lag behind with regard to the timing and scheduled uh, timings india may have lost in the quarterfinals of the olympic hockey competition but things are looking good for hockey india president narendra batra he has been nominated for the International Hockey Federation President's Post. The new president and executive board members of the FIH will be elected during the Hockey Congress on November 12th in Dubai. If Batra gets elected, he will be the first Indian to become FIH president. Neeraj Chopra created history when he became the first Indian track and field athlete to be crowned world champion at any level, creating a new under-20 world record in the process. Neeraj threw the javelin to a world record 86.48 meters. Though he missed the Olympic buzz for Rio, he is confident of bagging a medal in 2020. <laughs> ऐसे जेएनडब्ल्यू स्पोर्ट्स है ऐसे स्पोर्ट करता रहा और वाकई में किया है पिछले साल ही मैं जेएनडब्ल्यू में स्पोर्ट किया था तो काफी स्पोर्ट मिला अभी तक जो भी मतलब चाहिए खिलाड़ी को मैं विश्वास दिलाता हूं कि फिट रहा और अच्छी ट्रेनिंग करता रहा ऐसे ही तो 2030 even the players' body, FICA says, it's time to think globally on world cricket and not just stick to each nation's needs. Watch the video and I will come back with another report tomorrow.
it's a, it's a great challenge, and I'm all for. Um, and, you know, I sit on a, on a World Cricket Committee, and the MCC World Cricket Committee, and we're, we're always trying to find ways to make the game more attractive to the viewer and the public. And uh, if a two-tier system is going to do that, then I'll, I'll totally support it.